So what we have is a slab leak, but this one is actually a tricky one because the leak is actually, if you can see the water, running through the sewer line. So somewhere under the slab is blocked and you can see the water constantly running and no toilets or anything is running and you can see it constantly flowing. So that's a pretty uh, large size leak. So we're gonna go inside, turn it off and make sure this water stops running to determine that that definitely is a leak. What's up and welcome back to the channel. It's your DIY contractor here. Today we're gonna be repairing a slab leak. So stay tuned, I'll show you how we found it and how to repair it. So the first thing you're gonna notice when you have a slab leak is your water bill is gonna be high. And you're gonna have no noticeable leaks around the yard or in the house. That means no toilets are running, anything that's noticeable. So after that, you wanna go out to the water meter and I'll show you what we're gonna check on the water meter. Now this is a digital water meter and what you're gonna notice, the numbers, each time it flashes, is gonna be a different number. As you can see, it changes and everything inside the house is turned off. So that means you have a leak and from the size of this one, it's a large leak. So we know we got a pretty consistent leak with everything being off. So you'll check your meter and if the numbers are changing with everything off in the house, that's how you know you got a leak. Normally, you have a digital meter or you have a manual meter that'll have a small leak dial on it and it'll constantly spin. So that's the first thing you wanna check. So looking at this, we know we do have a leak. So let's go find it. The next thing you wanna do is listen out for any water running and First place to check is over by the hot water tank. And you can definitely hear the water is constantly running. But there are no leaks. So. You can hear it. Definitely no leaks. So if you notice we have a shut off here. So what you can do is cut off your main shut off and if you don't hear the water running that means it's beyond the shut off so it's beyond the meter. So what we'll do, we'll leave that off and then we'll go back and check the meter to make sure that the leak is not between that shut off valve and the meter. So now we can see that the meter is maintaining and the numbers are not changing. So that means we do not have a leak between the meter and the main shutoff. So let's go and look. Now we'll turn on this valve. Now the next thing you wanna do is to determine if it's a hot water side leak or a cold water leak. So our main line comes in here. Like I said, that's the cutoff valve. So this is your hot water tank, which it feeds straight into the hot water tank, which is on. So we'll cut off the hot water tank and see if it stops, which it does not. So that means we have a cold water side leak. So the next thing, you're gonna trace your lines. So going down into the ground, and it comes up, this is our manifold. And it looks like there have been repairs here. So what we're looking for is possibly the main line that comes up. So what we're gonna have to do is cut the line and cap it and see if that stops the leak. So 
we're gonna find out which line it is. If this is your hot water, you can fill it most times, that's hot. And this is your cold side, so it's mainly possibly this line coming up on the cold water side. So we're gonna cap that off and see if we can stop the leak. So we'll possibly cut it here first and make sure there's nothing going over to there. Then we'll run a temporary line to come. So I'm thinking the leak is possibly under the floor right about here. Under the floor somewhere around here. So one thing that I did find and we'll go outside. One thing I did find while walking around the houses and I'll show you that video earlier I shot. We was checking the sewer lines to make sure it wasn't nothing going. Um, leaking in the sewer line, we did a sewer repair and found water in the line. So I'll show you that video and show it to you again. So you can see we have three cleanouts. One here, one there, and one all the way down here. So the way we found this leak, we were repairing this clean out, which I had separated, and found water in the line. And if you can see in there, you can see the water is actually running. But what we found, this line is actually broken at the joint. And now, you can see the water that's constantly running. So that's your leak that's under the slab. Just so happened it found a way to get into the sewer line. So that's why you don't have any water around the yard or flood in the kitchen or inside the house because it found its way into the sewer line. So it's just basically running out of the pipe into the sewer line. So we know it's in this area. So another thing I've used to help me find the leak is basically a geophone. It finds the leak detector and it's made like a stethoscope. And basically these go in your ear and then you got your two receivers, which are here. And you just put those on the slab. And on the slab, and you can hear what area the water's coming from as you move them around. You can hear, and that way you know what area the water is coming in. But since this is such a large leak, I can hear the water under the slab. And since we did find it near the clean out, I know we're in the area. So. We're not gonna do a concrete breakup, we're gonna do a reroute. So I'm gonna temporarily cap lines and run lines to see if we can find the leak. And then we will reroute the line through the best possible way, which probably will be through the attic. So we'll look at that next. So looking down in one of the cleanouts, you can see and hear the water that's constantly running and you can see it and you can hear it so we're going to go and turn everything off to see if that stops so i just turned off the main water valve and you can hear the water is slowing down and it's not flowing now so it's definitely a leak somewhere near the sewer line. So let's go in and determine if it's on the hot or the cold water side. And you can see here, that is barely flowing now. So I found this clean out on the side, went and turned the water back on, and if you can see, 
we got water coming alongside of this clean out so that water line that's broke is pushing water back up towards this clean out and that's where it's getting actually into the clean out and running back down into the sewer line so that tells me that the leak is definitely somewhere close and under this slab here because we're that close to the house and it's not a hot water side we turned off the hot water tank that's not leaking there so to recap that's our main line coming in. This is all the valve and it's off. And when it's on, you can hear the water running. It runs through that line, through your pressure reducer. And it has another valve there and it goes into the ground. So we know by cutting off the hot water slide, it's not a hot water leak. So over here at our manifold, we can see, like I said, they had at least before, but this is your hot water side, which is your main coming in. And this is your cold water side. So we're gonna find the main line, which one is leaking and make a repair there. And then possibly run it up through the attic and back down to this side. So we'll go up and cross the attic and bring a new line down. So let's put in a temporary line and start capping off some lines to find out which one is leaking. So looking at it, we're going to have to figure out which line. And this is your cold water side here. So we got a main coming in here, here, and in the back. So we got three three quarter inch lines coming in. So I'm going to try to get the geophone and see if I can listen to one of those lines just to see, because we're gonna have to figure out which line runs to that main that comes here first. I just wanted to show you how much water we're actually losing. All right, let's move this one. Actually, if you can see, it's probably running. You can hear it dripping down into that hole. So it's pretty much under that slab. So let's see if we can get this taken care of. But just want to show you how much water that is. That's like a garden hose wide open. I can get a light and show you. That's how much water we're losing. So here's what we found so far. So like I said, it comes in through here. That valve, that shutoff valve does not work. So I'm gonna be eventually removing that one. So we come in through the pressure reducer and that's why they put that shutoff valve in. So from that shutoff valve, it goes back into the ground and I got it cut loose here and found the main line. So as you can see, when I turn it on, that's the line that we're going to be capping temporarily. And we'll be running that one through the attic. So we're going to run a temporary line from this side over here. But like I said, I'm going to remove that shutoff valve. And you can see once you start touching it, it starts leaking. So that's what I was going to do. So I'm going to remove that and run a temporary line over to there just to make sure our leak has stopped or oh, that covers all the lines that are leaking. 
Okay, so this is what we got so far. So that's the main line that's going back out. And I did cut it and cap it, but got that one connected back and capped here. And you can see I got the water on and it's not leaking. So it's not the main line that's coming across, that's coming from here. So it has to be, next option would be to feed it back through and see which line is feeding and start capping those off. So just a matter of trial and error. So we'll cut another line, connect this back up, find where it's feeding to the next section, and then cap that line until we find which line is leaking. So we got the leak stopped. And as always, it's gonna be the last one you cut. It's gonna be the one that's leaking. So, thought it was a three quarter with the amount of water that was coming out. So we cut the half inch back here. Two three quarter lines that run down, did those first. And then that last half inch, and this is the line that runs down. This is the one that's leaking. Most likely, since the leak is going that way and so close to the edge, is probably going to the kitchen sink which once I put everything back together connect everything except this one but connect those back up and then one by one check the meter as I connect them up make sure we don't have multiple leaks but once we cap this one off the meter stop turning and the water stop running so let's put these together back one by one and check make sure those are not leaking all right so we got everything taken care of i can see we got everything banded back up the half inch line in the back three quarter in the back and that three quarter has a band on it and of course the one in the front has a band and we left this half inch capped so that's the line that's leaking and it is on the cold water side and that line feeds the sink to the kitchen so i did turn everything on so it runs over here to the kitchen so the water is on everything's on and if you can see turn that valve on you get no water so that's the only one that doesn't have water throughout the house so what we're gonna do is Take off the rest of that sheet rock. We'll run the line through here. Come in from behind the hot water tank. Tap in a half inch here in one of these lines, possibly the three quarter inch line. Go from a three quarter to a half or catch the washer and dryer line, either one. But that'll be what we'll do. Don't have to run it through the attic. We'll run it through the wall and catch the kitchen. So. That's what it takes to do a slab leak repair. So we'll go out here and check the meter. Like I say, everything is on. We'll go out here and check the meter, make sure. And as you can see, with the meter is standing still with all the water on. So no more leaks. Tells you you don't have any leaks or no water running through the meter. So just double checking everything is hooked up. The line is bypassed and we're gonna come over here and where we have that sharp bite we're gonna go three quarter to a half and we're gonna well three quarter half T and that's gonna give me my half inch. That's gonna take it around the wall, around the back of the hot water tank. And we're gonna take this sheet rock out and we'll feed that line right over here to the back of the sink and we'll replace that line. So that's the line that was leaking under the house, the cold water kitchen sink line. So we got it taken care of. Everything else is good. We've checked the meter, nothing moving, so don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe and hope this video helps.
Until next time, we'll talk to you later.